we're going to see what the new UI looks like. So this is your all inventory page starting tomorrow. Um, the all inventory page starting tomorrow, there's a few things that we did here. Obviously, you'll notice the color changes. Uh, the eagle-eyed uh, viewers we have here today may notice font changes. Um, so we, we did a little bit just to kind of modernize it a little bit, uh, give it a little bit more personality. So we, we've changed some of the color schemes, but you'll notice the large section of buttons and filters uh, that previously took up the space are no longer here. And instead we've consolidated them into uh, drop down buttons to help uh, basically make it a little bit easier to understand where these things are and what can be done for a product. So if we flip back and forth we can kind of walk through some of these changes. So you'll notice we kept the add new button there. On most of your pages, whatever the main action is, that's not going to change, though we have changed the color and the look and feel of it. When you click this, you'll still see your same options, add a product, add a kit, add a built product, or add a parent. It's when we start moving beyond that. Um, so here right now we have this help feature. We actually introduced that in our last release that gives you a page of information about the page you're on in eComDash. Well, we've taken that just text link and we've now updated it with this little eye icon so again if you're you're checking out a new page in ecom dash that maybe you hadn't before or you'd like some more information about the features on that page you can click that little eye icon it'll take you to this page give you a brief blurb some setup checklist things to make sure you have done and then a, a, a introduction or a video to the section basically letting you know what can be done in there and you can make this go away by just clicking don't show this again. So I'm going to click that and hide it back. And so then as we move on to the next section, so the next row here is our filters. We have now taken the filters and the tags and we have consolidated them into a filters button. Uh, so again in an effort to consolidate and kind of clean up the page, you can now view the filters by clicking this and it'll show you the exact same filters. We've also included the show remove products in here uh, and clear tags. So once you've made your selection you click apply the filter will run and will return the items that you have. The next section is this row of buttons here. Um, so we've essentially taken all the things that you can do with these buttons and we've now put them into a bulk actions option. So if it's grayed out, that simply means that you need to make a selection to be able to use that feature. So if I select this uh, tint here, after selecting it, I can now you know, do a sync now for it. I can turn on auto sync for it, turn it off, and so forth. So if there's something you want to do with your products, here's where you can see what the options are. And again, if they're grayed out, it just means you need to make a selection first. The other thing that we did, if we pop back here, is every row had all these little links in them to be able to, you know, view the details or, or edit the quantity. Um, we also have these little, uh, you know, red X's to remove things. What we've done here is we've taken the actions that can be done, uh, you know, here with view, edit, and remove, and we've consolidated them into an actions button for the row. So when you're looking at the tent, you want to update quantity, you want to print a barcode for it, remove it, edit supplier information, you can simply click that, make your change, and then click save. Same thing for edit quantity, it's exactly the same as it was before, it's just now organized into this section here. Um, and again, that's really just an effort to try and clean up these rows so there's less, there's, there's not so much going on all at once. We have also taken the option of turning on auto sync, turning it on and off for your entire account, and we've made it a switch here now. So you'll notice, notice this here tomorrow morning. If auto sync is on, I highly recommend not flipping this, as tempting as it may be, uh, to click it. If you click it, it will turn it off, ceasing any syncing uh, until it is turned back on again. So uh, we do have that now, um, but just kind of keep that in mind. So what we'll do for the remainder of the demo is we'll kind of go through some of the different pages in EcomDesk just to kind of show you the look and feel uh, of how they are. Um, but in general, the changes that we have made in this update uh, are uh, the only functional differences are on these main pages that you can access 
up here. If you click into a product, you'll notice the new color scheme, but you're not going to notice a different layout of products. So let's take a look at a product detail. Now, there are now two different ways for you to get into a product detail. You can either click Actions and click View, or we've now added the ability to simply click the uh, row or the line item, and that'll take you in the details as well. So as you'll notice, fields are still organized in the same way. Um, you've got the same buttons. They've just now been updated with different size um, and, and a different color scheme. But in terms of how any of this functions, there have been no changes made to this. That's not to say that we won't make any changes. So what you're seeing here now is really just a first step into revamping the interface of Ecom Dash. Um, and that first big step was implementing the new color scheme, implementing that new font everywhere, and, and also consolidating the buttons, filters, and views into these uh, buttons here. Um, that's really the only functional change that you would need to get used to, um, and also you know, removing the view or edit that is that was typically within the row. So let's see here. We'll take a look. I, uh, all right. So now if we go into restock, we'll take a look at these. Um, and thank you for everyone who's submitting questions. Uh, you know, really appreciate that. Once we finish up this demo portion, we'll run through and get those answered for everyone. Um, so yeah, so here on your purchase order page, again, we simply took the buttons that were there before. The only button on this page other than add new was export to accounting. And we've simply now consolidated that into bulk action. Send to QuickBooks and send to zero. And then you have your various filters and the I. One other thing to mention that we have changed is we also, um, previously we had a green plus icon over here by the checkbox to be able to expand the purchase order. We have simply moved that here to the right side just to kind of unclutter this left side. And when you click it, it will expand it and give you more information about the product. And again, we have also implemented the click uh, clicking of the row to view details everywhere in the software. So if I click this uh, the row for this purchase order, it's going to take me into the details. Again, functionally nothing was changed here. We simply updated the look and feel. Um, but keep an eye out uh, f from the Ecom Dash support team. Uh, at some point, we will most likely be redesigning uh, you know, this kind of stuff. And at that point, we will have another demo to kind of let people know how things function. Um, but for now, when you get this level, you shouldn't experience any functional changes other than the colors. So this is just kind of what a, a purchase order looks like in here. Now if we go into listings and listings overview. So again, looks similar. We now have the action buttons over here and the various filters. We did improve the unlisted products page. So previously, when you'd go to the unlisted products page, you kind of get here and it's not really clear what to do. You get here, your buttons are grayed out. There's no products in the data table, but you have some filters there. And the way it's currently set up is you'd have to come in here and say display products not listed on, select a site, and we'll load it. But what we've done now to try and make this, like I said, a little bit more clear, is when you load this page, now you have a find products button. So you can click that button, you get a little blurb here, search your inventory for products that are in stock but not currently listed on a channel, select which channel you want to research in the drop down below, and click apply to see your opportunities. So you can take that and say, I want to see all my items not listed on camping store WooCommerce. Click apply, it's going to give me all those items here. And from here, I can uh, view it, remove it, or I can select all of them and using bulk actions, create a draft or publish now. Our draft listings page, we've also made a slight change here. So previously, if you tried to submit a listing and that listing failed, it would get kicked back to draft listings where you would need to revise it and publish it out. In an effort to make things again clearer, uh, a little less cluttered on a certain page, we now have a failed listings page. So if you have a draft and you've submitted it once and it failed, it's now going to show up here on the failed listings page with a nice big space for an error message to let you know what needs to be addressed to be able to get the listing out there. 
So look for that. That'll be out there in there tomorrow. We kept all the bulk actions that were in draft listings and moved them here. So you can, you know, uh, publish all once you edit them. You can validate. You can bulk edit. Uh, and you can export it in a file if you need to make changes that way. Last uh, one here in listings is our active listings page. And again, this was a page that was heavily cluttered uh, with buttons and uh, buttons and filters that we have now group together into those like we can see here as we load this page up how many different things are going on here so we've now updated that here uh, and, and just consolidated all the actions into the bulk actions button you'll notice a new icon here import listing file so previously if, if any of you were using our uh, pricing file export and import you would click this button to import the file but now we've simply updated it to this logo the last major section is orders so again we'll, we'll go in here and check out paid ready to ship so we get here you know similar type stuff we're still displaying the orders in the same way we didn't make any changes around this um, you've got your actions button where you can edit the order number add notes create an individual shipping order um, or you can select multiple and bulk actions create shipping order for all so you know same as before you would click that button to create shipping order we just now organized it here and we also have these plus icons to be able to expand it out um, another one of these logos we see here paid ready to ship so back on paid ready to ship in the current version of the software we had the option for export orders and when you click that it would tell you export manual or export automated manual requires you to pick some orders and tell us which ones you want to export but export automated doesn't require a selection because you're simply forcing ecom dash to run a warehouse export feed instead of waiting for whatever interval you've set so we can we maintained export orders manually here if you would like just to get a csv file that you can download um, but we put export automated into this new icon and when you click it here it'll take you ask you which warehouse export feed you want to go ahead and kick off click export and it'll function the exact same way um, so in terms of uh, functional changes a lot of them are simply uh, almost all of them uh, are organized around the various buttons you would have seen on a page in the various filters and simply organizing them in and then taking any links or actions that could be done uh, on a row by row uh, level and moving them into this specific actions button to be able to get it we added the click to view action as well so there's a lot of stuff that that we have done but there's still more that we're looking to do um, like I said we're the next phase will be reviewing our detail screens so getting into the look and feel of an order detail getting into the look and feel of a product detail and seeing what we can do to update so definitely keep an eye out for that information but it is from what we've kind of gone over that essentially covers the demo um, of what we have uh, because we, we've gone through these main list screens where those changes everywhere else you'll notice some changes just again look and feel you'll you'll see some of the buttons in a different style different font different color um, we did try to keep a consistent um, playbook on the color of the buttons as well you'll probably notice so uh, orange is always going to be the main call to action on a certain page blue would be secondary and then green would be the tertiary option so you'll notice some of that hierarchy as you're using the software again this is going out uh, tomorrow morning so when you log in it's going to look just like this and, and going to function in the way that I have demoed um, but yeah uh, thank you everybody for coming out I hope you have a great rest of your day um, and like I said really hope everybody en en uh, uh, enjoys this change I our goal obviously is to make your lives easier if this change goes out there and something's not working for you let us know so we can get it updated but we appreciate it and have a great rest of your day everyone thank you bye bye